Susanna from Lexington Journals here today to talk to you uh, about the, the new, this new special edition Arthurian chivalry romance journal <laughs> that I've just made. And uh, just to say, uh, in the, uh, in, I will incorporate some photographs from Crafting Fridays, from, from the last Crafting Friday on Friday. There is something that we made it's a collage and it has original ephemera on it it's it's i think it's quite nice and i'm going to this is a this is this is our giveaway for 2020 and uh, i'm going to do the giveaway the giveaway video on for this friday so if you are interested just put your name down here on this video as well and i will i will add you to the to the people that will be joining in the giveaway so, an Arthurian legend journal, and it is, a, as I said, it's a special edition, and I will be doing more, so we can count this as the first one, the first special edition one. I have made quite a few journals, Arthurian journals up to now, and they've all been, they've all been very much loved. So I thought that this is, this is not going to tire anybody to see another one. Now, this specific one is, is, is an introduction to the whole story. So I have added quite a few of the characters just to give the idea, to give everybody the idea of what the story was about, although I know most of you know. Anyway, so as we know, the Arthurian legend is a, is a story, a, a mix of different stories. And it, it, is, it, is, it starts from early on, the 11th century, and it goes on up to the, to, to, to the 21st century with the new films that have come out with you know, the Arthurian films. And they are called romances because they, this is a type of poem. It is a type of story, a romance. And it, is, um, it, it, it talks about the adventures of King Arthur and his knights, his birth, obviously, sorry, and the adventures. And then the, uh, the love between his knight, Sir Lancelot, and his queen, Guinevere and the holy grail the quest for the holy grail which was the vessel which the vessel used by christ and at the last supper and given to joseph of arimathea and brought uh, and which actually in the end brought the end and the fall of of the arthurian kingdom as with all these court stories there there is a peak there is the beginning and the struggle and the 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 gathering of all the worthy people and the knighthood and all that and then there is the peak and then there is the fall and we have the fall where where arthur and his knights are seeking Rail. so that they can pick up their kingdom again and the, the the battle to do that and then there's the involvement of merlin and and who was the wizard or the the, the magus or or wh however one wants to call during the the centuries he has changed names but he was a druid originally so there's the involvement of merlin and the involvement of morgana who was uh, one of the ladies of the lake and then there is the lady of the lake who has forged the sword that arthur wins through Merlin so it's a long long story but it's really really lovely and interesting and and up uh, up uh, it's just once you start reading any of the different versions you get lost in this magical time so so this so the, the main the main idea of the story is obviously the seek the quest for the holy grail king arthur originally the original king arthur in my books comes from from uh, Britain and he he was a le a Roman soldier that was left behind and he was a high ranking soldier and he gathered an army through the knights obviously but at the time there were no knights out of the 5th century and that's dark ages so it's really really a long time ago it was more like warlords so he gathers his warlords and he creates this kingdom and that's the idea that he wants to unite uh, Britain and make it one country so so th to bring it back to its previous glory as as you know, as, as we know so the there are so many different stories about it so we, we, i mean i'm going to i'm going to say very roughly Geoffrey of monmouth in wales that's he's the first one in the 11th century to write about the the, the arthurian romance and then then is there's a french uh, writer um, and that's in the 12th century 
and he focuses on the Grail mysteries and the love of Lancelot and Guinevere and all that. And then we have the Grail story and Lancelot, Lancelot and his son Galahad. And his son Galahad is another knight and he's also very pure at heart, whereas Lancelot has lost his purity because he, he loved uh, Guinevere, who was the wife of his king. So, so, so Galahad is the one that will have to fight to find the Holy Grail. And... Finally, there's a and and, and finally the le there's also another part of the legend uh, where the with to through Thomas Mallory in the 15th century who is actually talking about a very medieval and romantic time. And finally, in the Victorian times, we have Alfred Lord Tennyson who writes a lot about about King Arthur as well in his Idols of the King. Uh, and then we have also the moderns, but I'm not going to refer to them at the moment because they're not part of my let's say, research on this, this time. I will give you more information on the original Arthur in a next journal. And I know I probably, you know, I've, I've done that with Merlin, so I'll do it with Arthur as well. And then you'll see, you'll see what I mean. The other important part of this whole story is Avalon and... and um, Glastonbury, a place where we have a lot of festivals in the summer, the Glastonbury Festival, a bohemian place where people gather and they uh, they play music and it's got lots of white witches that go there, druids, modern druids. It's it's a pretty an interesting place. Really interesting, especially when the mists come down and I have been there during the mist and I know what it's, what they mean when they say the mists of Avalon because the mist just covers everything and the only thing you can see sometimes mm. is the peak of Tor, which is uh, like an, a mount that is there, set there. And it's, it's a very interesting, lo lovely, lovely place to go to. So if you ever are in Britain or you are from Britain or whatever, you know, you know how amazing that place is. So, uh, so this is the, 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 the rough idea of, of Arthur. And I will also, uh, another thing I want to mention before I start showing you the journal is Excalibur, his, his sword. I wouldn't call it magic sword because magic is a word that has been overused and, and is not. It's a, it's a sword that has been forged by the Lady of the Lake for the use of the future king. And Merlin has looked after the future king as from when he was a baby. He trained him uh, to, to know the druid ways and he also he also introduced him to claim Excalibur when the time came, when Arthur was a young man. And that's how the story officially begins. So Excalibur is a very important part of the story. Let's see now, the journal. I have this cover in the front which has got a raised border here and this is a closure and the other side of the closure is here and it closes perfectly well as as long as this is tucked in so I'll show you after there's the the spine with you know these sorry you know these uh, this ribbon I've used it before but this one is actually green it's not red so I've got a few different colors this time so we'll use them in different journals and this is another border with the round table the knights of the round table gathered here and the back is all grungy and there is the other side of closure there and it's quite plain I thought I'd leave it plain well, as I'm, when I tell you the story it's not false modesty when I say I I'm not sure if I can tell stories well because the truth is I keep thinking I've missed something out and I keep thinking that I've repeated something. So this is the reason why I say I'm not very good at telling stories because I, I really don't prepare a script beforehand because I, I don't like reading from a script anyway. So it's just what comes into my mind and sometimes I don't always. But anyway, thank you so much for your kind comments about the stories because it really helps if I know that you're enjoying them. So, so let's have a look at the journal. Inside, as end papers, I've used these, and they're borders of um, beautiful leaves that are, have got a gold, bronzy um, shine to them. 
Oh, and I've left the edges because they're, they come from the, the, the edge, the side of the paper. So I've left the edges because I like the way they've ripped this way. They're ripped and hand sort of cut. But if anybody wants to tidy it up, easy peasy. You just tidy it. I'm going to put a frame. Sorry, I haven't done that yet, but it's, there's going to be a frame for any insert or picture with a transparent part so people can just take their picture, a picture or, or something in as a note, as a title. And so this this is King Arthur, beautiful, and he looks so worried. <laughs> this is a, a Nimnu. Nimnu is the Lady of the Lake and Merlin, and this is Rackham image. And you see, this is Dirtle Door in Door painting has been insp inspired by. That's where it is. And you see the sea here. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, painting. This. So it can be used as a note card here. And this is from Medieval Mirage and it's a download. Uh, I, I just added a few of those through through the journal to give it a bit more interest and something to be inspired by when you're writing. And there's a corner pocket here which I roughed up the edges a bit and, and I've inked it. There's another corner here, which is also roughed a bit. And this is a beautiful image of a knight and his lady. And his armor is something else. It's just amazing, the variety of the, the design on it. And it's just gorgeous. And it's a, a pre-Raphaelite. What else? I mean, they were, there, they were amazing when they did their Arthurian and their general romantic uh, paintings. This is Sir Galahad and I'm not sure about this lady. He's lying there. And this is a, another corner pocket and this lady is, I think it's, uh, this is Camelot in the background, I think it's Guinevere and Arthur. These are the ladies the ladies with the knights and it the 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 painting is the knights preparing for battle the title i love that image actually i think i might use it on a cover sometime and this is this is a, a french poem from graphics fairy i thought it's nice to add this to this romantic sort of type of book and there's a the other side of the printable one here and here is Merlin taking Arthur away from court to take him to teach him and protect him from his enemies and this is a, my fair it's called my fair lady this painting and it looks like a lady that is going to get married or walking through a, a spring procession I'm not 100% sure but it is a beautiful painting I think very Arthurian this is a bit of a side of the page, a design, some music paper. And this is a, 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 a castle. Uh, it's like Camelot. And um, this, this, this is a part of a book, that King Arthur book. And I, because it has been ripped, I've used this part. It has been well, the soul is just destroyed. I've used the part of it. It's end paper, so I think it's rather nice to have it in. And it is supported by this, and kept kept under kept well preserved, let's say. And I've used this one, which is another medieval mirage image, and a um, bit of this greenery. This is the. the, the the image, let's say, of a lady here, a butterfly, and and the it's a pocket. This is a church. Uh, it says a, a chapel. Uh, let's see. No, this is this is a it says elevation and section of chancel screen stone grave church. It's a, it's an old church, a very medieval church, and I have a very old book of these of architecture and it has these beautiful details here so I've added this in 
in this journal. And this is a bookmark and um, with a tassel and this is just very appropriate for this type of book and it also has the green color which is also the color in the spine so the, on the design on the on the uh, ribbon and this is Guinevere and Arthur and Lancelot who brings her to him and that's how the story begins of the romance of Lancelot and Guinevere because they have a little bit of time to meet each other before she she meets her king and in the story of course she loves Arthur and Arthur loves her but the the love she shares with Lancelot is is courtly love it's the romantic love that's the medieval in the medieval version I guess in the more the, the older time Lancelot and Guinevere had a different type of relationship I'm not sure and this is the corner or, or no relationship at all maybe they were not connected and maybe Sir Thomas Mallory wanted to add a bit of a spice to the story but we'll we know we know we're not sure about this that. is a semblance and it has different elements medieval looking elements and this comes from this book of architecture of the of the chapels of the medieval churches and this is in uh, this comes from a book as well an old book and some different I've added some different um, bits and pieces here and this is from the book that I, I got the end paper from and this is Guinevere, Merlin and Arthur and some, some of the end papers uh, and, and the framing the side of the pages there's a corner pocket this is the passing of Arthur beautiful scene and it is it is set in Avalon so there are all the ladies there of the maidens that, that, that were trained in Avalon. And there is Arthur and his, let's say, entourage. And the Lady of the Lake is there. And they're all, there's music. And they're playing music. And very much loved King. Corner pocket here. This is Sir Galahad being introduced to the court very medieval. I've left pages to be adorned as much as or adored <laughs> with your writing. And there's um, there's an image of a lady, a medieval lady. This is one of my favorite paintings of a knights. And this is, uh, I, I imagine Arthur sitting on his horse with a, ho with a little bird there. But there's a lot of sweetness because it's like a combination of, of the strength of the, of the knight and also his, his gentle, gentle soul. And here's like a horse image here I thought I'd add. And this is a water house image. And she, uh, this is the knight and the lady here. And this is Arthur and Guinevere. This is Arthur holding his crown. Beautiful. Here is Lancelot and Guinevere after Guinevere was punished for being found. Yeah. So we have a lot of different versions clashing sometimes, so we just have to take it with a pinch of salt. And there's another center piece there, central image. And this is a knight and a lady. Uh, this is Mordred and uh, Arthur in, in having their final battle in, in this sun. It's, I think it's sunset and it's the end of King Arthur that's when he dies and Mordred was his son through his half-sister Morgana so there's a story there to be told and that is a more like there's another a twist in the story and um, it's interesting how both in both cases Guinevere Lancelot and Arthur and Morgana are punished in a different in, in a way in a different way so that's it. Both of them die in that battle. And there's another lady image here. And this is the end. So very, very medieval looking journal. 
and the story thus of King Arthur's the King Ar the adventures and the and the uh, legend of King Arthur officially well I wouldn't say begins because we've done quite a few but the special editions let's say Begin. with this journal there, there will be another one sometime later this year with more of the story and I promise you the story will be will not be the same I will add to it and I will give you more details maybe we'll go back to the, the first uh, let's say interpretations and do a little bit more on that so that every journal has got its own personality this is an introduction <laughs> this is the introduction in the meantime don't forget to put your name down if you're interested in the giveaway and put it here on, on the on my youtube channel on, on this video put it on the crafting video that i did on friday or, or any other video because i look at all the comments plus um obviously if you're on instagram put it under that um you know on, on the instagram feed so have a lovely rest of your sunday this book is going to be up on etsy tonight and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching